Well, I'm going to head off out there. It's going to be windy. Let's see how we go. Now, for my first try of these earlier, it's pretty obvious that the audio isn't as good as on the, the first edition of these, which is kind of ironic, so there's always something which needs to be improved. So it seems the, the angle of view with these, in terms of line of sight matching up with your natural line of sight with your eyes is, is much more accurate, but maybe the audio isn't as good. This is probably not a fair test at the moment because there's going to be a lot of wind coming off the sea that you're probably picking up. But that's a nice view down there. In fact, I reckon that's probably worth a photograph, so you know, I'm going to give it a go with that windsurfer down there with that lovely sail and the glistening water. So you can see me lining up the shot. I can't really see it <laughs> with these glasses on because I've still got the shaded lenses. However, I'll just click and see what it looks like later. Might be crap. So, I was... Uh, online last night in a session with Mike Wesh and I always go and try and hear what Mike Wesh has to say whenever he's online and it was really interesting the message that I got from his session as much as anything and I'm going to maybe podcast this later is that the most important thing about being a good teacher is to love your students he said you've got to know your students Respond to your students, respect your students, and only if you do that are you going to get a good performance, if you like, back again from your students. So, dear Mike, telling us that in the vet sector, the heavily regulated vet sector, we need to love our students, we need to take time to kind of show social and emotional concern for these students and not just be teaching them competencies. Somehow I don't think it's going to fly in the vet sector. But, However, let's have a look at uh, something close up. I'm going to go over here to the sand dunes and not be at all conscious of where I'm looking. I'm just going to look naturally. You're not allowed to do this actually, but I'm going to bend down here and pick up this one here. I'm going to just dig down and see how far these roots go. They're quite amazing, these little guys. And you can see the roots there. Buried deep down in the sand, so I'm several inches down, and this thing is still well rooted. I'm not going to pull it out, just kind of curiosity to demonstrate how well the glasses are going. And there seems to be just one... Oh, there's two big roots down there and two little ones on the side keeping this thing well anchored in the sand no matter how windy it is so I might turn these glasses off here just one last glance towards the windsurfer and see what that looks like on playback later